that worked here at the cemetery uh, in the earlier 1900s. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking for a <laughs> frogs. This is Frank Fem Femmins. And Frank was kind of all over in history around here. He had an apple orchard that was up on Road 620, and Femmins Road is up there. Um, I knew a family that had the property when I was in high school and went up there and helped them take off their asbestos shingles that were on their roof and they would put tin on. But from what I understand, one of the presidents possibly Roosevelt and th there's no writing of this this is family history that came down supposedly stopped and saw his apple orchard because it was irrigated the way he had irrigated it and it was supposed to be revolutionary at the time his apples were also supposed to be a number one he supposedly took them to the World's Fair in Chicago and won for size appearance and best flavor but Frank is also the one that knew where Skeens was buried. And before he died, he passed that information on. Let's walk this way. <laughs> well, well, we'll get to that. We're gonna, we're gonna go here to Vonderaa. And the reason I have Vonderaa on here is Vonderaa uh, is a family they own land up at Bass Lake, a lot in Mariposa and here in Madera County. Vonderaa started Vaughn. Now, he was buried here before Vons was built here, but it's Vons Safeway, and uh, this is where he chose to be. Okay. So, with all those land holdings and everything, here he is underneath the cedar Pretty tree. simple tombstone. Well, that was, that was the thing. See, at the cemetery, we have, these are what we call district markers, and uh, they're basic. We try not to compete with monument dealers or anything, but all graves are marked. There's no yeah. such thing as an unmarked grave now. So if the family chooses not to purchase one, this is what they get. But we also have people that come in and go, that's fine. We'll do that. That's fine. So, uh, you know, we have people holding car washes that bring in stone from Italy and bring it through customs. And they're doing fundraisers trying to pay for all this. And then we have people that have plenty of money and go, that's fine for me. So to each their own.